Bonjour! We just got to Nice, France. I'm super excited to explore the Côte d'Azur. Um, we, our train got in at like 8 a.m. so we had a ton of time to kill. So we've already been to the beach and got sunburnt and swam in the water so we can help ourselves and we just rented some mopeds and we are going to go all up and down the Côte d'Azur to all the little villages and towns. We're super excited and how adorable is our room. I mean this is like a little girl's dream in here and it's so fun and there's only one room that looks like this in this hotel. I feel super lucky that we got to stay in here but I love it so much. Is our hotel room this is like a little French dream I can't believe we get to stay here it was super affordable it's a three-star hotel it's like two blocks from the beach it was just perfect we booked it with our credit card points and I'm in love this is like so fun and French and it's I love it I love it so much so we are gonna go explore the Cote d'Azur today so let's go. We could not quite help ourselves. We rented a moped to go around the Cote d'Azur. We weren't planning on doing that. We we're just gonna take the public train, but here we go. a moped from Nice to Monaco. It was treacherous. We took the main highway and that was a mistake. And we parked our moped at the bottom of the hill there so now we're trekking up. But I have already in the five minutes I've been here seen the most fancy cars I've ever seen in my entire life. James Bond. Yeah, I feel like casinos don't really have the same allure to us. Yeah, living in Nevada, but I feel like James Bond. Yeah, I love James Bond. strawberry jam crepe and we have this view. No complaints here. It was $10 though, the most expensive crepe we have had on our trip, but we got out easy in Monaco for needing a snack while in the playground of the rich and famous. The road right here is the road they use for the Grand Prix race and there's like skin marks and stuff on the road still. It's super cool. They have this little go-kart track for the kids so that they can race. It's really fun. Right next to the Grand Prix road. Chase, how'd you like Monaco? It's cool. It's cool. Definitely something to see. Yeah, I agree. A lot of nice cars. Lots of nice cars, the racetrack was super cool, and the casino was neat as well, but I'm a big James Bond fan. Rolls Royce drives by. Now we are going to saddle up the moped, and we are going to like go find a cute little town in between Monaco and Nice to swim and have dinner. It's going to be fun. A little adventure, but first, Let's go get our passport stamp. We just stopped for a swim. This has been my favorite spot of the French Riviera so far. I don't know the name of this little 
town. I, well, I know the name of it, but I don't know how to pronounce it very well. Chase got stung by a jellyfish. Um, but other than that, this has been a really sweet, little cute, clean little town. So I recommend coming here. We're gonna go find some dinner back in Nice, which is where our home base is. And I'm hoping it ends with some crumb brulee. We didn't quite make it back to Nice for dinner. We stopped at the cutest little town called St. Jean Cape Verret. I don't know how to pronounce it. It is adorable. We drove by and we couldn't resist, so we just had apps at a little restaurant and we had sardines and um, this little like chickpea fry thing. And now we're gonna go find something else to have. Um, but the vibes here are immaculate. To me, this is my favorite place we've been so far. So, 10 out of 10 recommends. We just met some fun locals and they told us that they're having a parade here and a fireworks show tonight. And um, we gotta stick around. They said this is the best place in the south of France. So. I'm excited that we found it. It's really special, I love that. We have found the parade staging. It looks just like Venice did when we were there during the carnival. It's very fun. Obviously, the camera's not doing it justice, but this is so beautiful with the color of the sky and the cliffs, mountains, and the harbor right here. I love it. I love it so much. It's so fun. Isn't this a treat, honey? It's pretty sweet. These people are pretty sweet. Yeah, they really do. It's so cool. Dream big. Be here one day. Our own boat. Gotta dream big. Today is our last day in France and I'm very sad. I can eat all the bread here and I can't in America. I don't know how I'll do in London. So I'm really just gonna eat that whole baguette myself. Celebrate. Wow. Oh, okay. Is it good? Right. Is it kind of like a cannoli? I don't know yet. Yeah. But Come with us as we go explore the French Riviera for our final day in France. We've been here for like two weeks in, in France and we've just been exploring all different parts. We were in Paris and then Provence and then now we're down here. We love French culture, French food, French people, architecture. We love France in general. French bread. <laughs> and especially French bread. You know, it's just an absolute shame that in America, we don't have bread like this ready on the street corner. And if you've ever been to Europe and you've tried to save bread, it literally goes bad after one day because there's no preservatives. Everything is so fresh. It was actually a gastroenterologist that told me to try to eat bread in France and Italy because he had some other patients that it was fine with. They were gluten intolerant in the States, but they could handle France and Italy. And same rings true for me. And even in Julia Child's um, memoir, when she talks about making her cookbook, she wanted to make French cuisine accessible for Americans, but she had to change all the recipes because of how processed our wheat is. It was different and would get different results than the fresh um, ingredients and the fresh wheat that she had accessible in France. So. I'm just over here, fully enjoying my bread. I got a stick of butter, and this is me living my best life. And partially why I love France so much, I can eat anything. You would love France so much too, if you could have bread. It's the best place ever. I love it here. Got a little squished in the back. Look at that goodness. Changed the outfit up a bit. This is a bit more practical for our journey. We're gonna go back to St. Jean, 
We're gonna enjoy the beach and then we're gonna come back, turn on our moped and go to dinner before heading to the airport. And then tonight we fly from Nice to London. Last day in France, how do you feel? Need more bread. I loved our hotel stay. I totally recommend the hotel. Ville Ravioli. 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 Not sure. We are adventuring and we're getting to go look around Old Town Nice right now. Nice was super cool. It's like, it looks a lot like Italy, a lot of Italy vibes, but then there's like crepes everywhere and little signs for chateaus. So it's like Italy and France combined, which we were, that's kind of what our research told us before we came here, but we can report back that that is correct. It's adorable though. Super cute, great place to go get something to eat or go shopping. So many cute shops. We shopped a lot in Provence though, so no need to shop here. Now we're gonna go swim, maybe? We're gonna go explore. The hat's lost a little structure, but that's all right. Right behind me is Paloma Beach. Um, yep, Paloma Beach. Right behind me is Paloma Beach, and it is supposed to be the hidden gem of the French Riviera, so we're gonna go spend the day there. I thought we were stopping at the beach, but Chase has caught a wild hair, so now we're following this cute little trail along the whole little um, point here. It's only for pedestrians, but it's beautiful, so I recommend that too. We stopped on the rocks right here to have our lunch, bread and butter. Enjoy this meal. This is the thing to have apparently. It's tuna fish, olives, peas, hard boiled egg, tomatoes, sandwich. I see, I see radishes in there. I see radishes? Oh. It's the thing to have in Nice. From all my research, multiple people recommended it. Fresh, refreshing sandwich. It is refreshing. It tastes good, actually. The place we went to, the Grotto, was recommended to us as well. It's one of the best places to get it. So, just this little hut by the Port Denise, a little takeaway stand. But don't trust your map because ours led us a bit astray. So, that's the block to you. It was a so good. I recommend that. It was delicious. Au revoir, France. This has been such a fun trip, swimming in the Mediterranean and exploring Provence and exploring and strolling the streets of Paris. I totally recommend the Côte d'Azur, the French Riviera for anybody that is interested. We had the best time. We're super sad to be leaving. Au revoir.